His book will go down in history as one of the most read, most printed, and one of the most controversial. The Catcher in the Rye is a kind of handbook for a teenage rebellion. Author J.D. Salinger has died at the age of 91 after spending years in self-imposed isolation. It is one of the most required reading books in America's high schools and one of the most censored. It's all about the lead character, Holden Caulfield. He was such a real person and he used to walk home from school talking about it with my girlfriend back in Downey. The Catcher in the Rye is about a teenager's whirlwind three-day romp in New York City after being kicked out of a Pennsylvania prep school. It's the masterpiece of writer J.D. Salinger. His lead character, the twisted, rebellious Holden Caulfield, came out in 1951 during the time of Cold War conformity. There was a point where I was also um, pessimistic a lot, just were, like Holden mm -hmm. Caulfield. You, you were like Holden Caulfield? In a way, but I guess I became optimistic. Salinger wrote for adults, but teenagers all over the world identified with the novel's themes of feeling alienated, rebellion, and sex. There's a lot of profanity, and that has always made The Catcher in the Rye so controversial. A Chapman University professor explains why the book caught on so fast with teens. People were still holding on to Holden Caulfield as a person who represented the revolt against the establishment, against parents, uh, against all those sorts of things. So yeah, it was still there in the 70s when I taught. And I guess the fear was that parents say they, their young son might want to become Mr. Holden Caulfield. Caulfield, exactly. <laughs> the book has also been linked to three high-profile criminals. Mark David Chapman, who shot John Lennon. Robert John Bardo, who shot actress Rebecca Schaefer, and John Hinckley Jr., who tried to assassinate Ronald Reagan. All three shooters were obsessed with the catcher in the rye.